Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is no stranger to pushing out plenty of ads and banners, prompting you to use recommended settings or to use Edge uh, instead of another browser. And this banner here is a very common one that most, including myself, have seen. Use recommended browser settings where you have the option to use um, the recommended settings or don't update your browser settings. And a recent um, post doing the rounds on X is this where um, a user asked the never button is missing because on this prompt, all we get is confirm set later. And if you are not a tech savvy user, um, you may not know that you can just click X to X out of this notification. So obviously it's a little bit deceptive in its nature and its communication where it gives you two options only confirm set later and Microsoft's response uh, to this was no it's not so this is causing a bit of a um a bit of debate um online in circles online regarding this actual tweet but nonetheless if you have seen these prompts and banners especially this use recommended browser settings then just to tell you that you can actually turn these off by disabling an experimental flag in the Microsoft Edge web browser. So if you are comfortable to fiddle with experimental features and you want to get rid and turn off these annoying notifications, then what we need to do is head to our address bar, enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags, hit enter. And in the search, type in and enter this flag, show feature and workflow recommendations. The description for the flag reads, when this setting is enabled, Microsoft Edge may show active messages recommending specific features and workflows based on your activities. So it's set to default. So this is a default feature in um, the browser. So what you need to do is you need to change that to disabled. Restart um, Microsoft Edge to apply that flag. And now you'll see that when you come back, hopefully, um, you will see a lot less, if not all of these, use recommended browser settings. And even this one that's causing a bit of an uproar online, you should see a lot less, if not all of these should be disabled when you turn off and disable that flag. And as I always mention with flags, they are not options, they are experiments. So at the time of posting, that flag will work if you disable it. But Microsoft can remove a flag at any given time, so always keep that in mind. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.